Okay, we thought we'd update you on the juvenile call ducks. You can hardly tell that they've grown at all. But what's that other duck in there? <laughs> no, I think he's a... It looks like more of a Cayuga than anything, buddy. But, what you see is it's already bigger than they are. But it's still got the peep of a little duck. And it's still younger, too. And it's a lot younger. <laughs> I got ducks quacking everywhere around here. Whoa. What? It went underwater. They like to swim underwater, don't they? This is a lot bigger of a tank. They can dive underwater. You're right. They can't touch the floor in this pool. I mean, they can. They just have to go underwater to do it. It's only about 9, 10 inches, but... So I can step in there with my... Rain, my rain mud slime boots and not get my water down my boots because they're taller. But that duck is so big, he's gonna have to be moved with some other ducks. We're about ready to just put all of the call ducks together. You're right, right now I don't know what the gender of these three call ducks are, but when we figure out what it is, we'll deal with it later. One of them's got angel wing, and so the other ones are constantly nibbling at its wing. So its feathers will be a little, or that one feather on that one side will be bare. But that's just how ducks are. They nibble at each other's feathers, and they preen their own feathers. But as you already know, Junior grows huge. This one's already pretty big as well so here's junior's friend that will probably never get to see junior <laughs> there you go. we just filled up everybody's food and water so yeah they're climbing into their water bowls and splashing it all out everywhere We'll probably have to go back and refill them again before we go in. Because ducks are ducks and they like playing in the water. I like when ducks dive. You like it when they dive and go underwater, don't you? Holy cow, it almost got quiet. <laughs> That's what happens after we feed them. They all calm down. Hey, Philip, anything you want to say? I know, he said that. Always. They like to eat bugs, don't they? Yep, we put them in pens at night to keep them safe. And we do put a tarp over them so that they've got shade. Because we can't let them all out at the same time. <laughs> I 
and they have the different kinds of them. So we we'll put the Peking together, the Muscovy together. That's what we need to do is get some more pens so we can get different ones to hatch out eggs, huh? Okay. Another quick short video. Bye-bye. <laughs> like I said, if you have any questions, let us know. We'll share them as much as we can. Talk to you later. Have a great day. Bye now.